Hey guys, today we're going to learn Exponents and Powers Part 2. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Here we are going to discuss a few simple mistakes that many people often do. Here in the first one. In the first part, 10 is going to be the coefficient, a is the base, and 3 is the exponent. So here, the right way to do this is using the product rule. So really, the, the answer is going to be 100 a to exponent of 3 plus 2. And we know that 100 a, we know that 3 plus 2 equals 5. So the answer is going to be 100 a to the exponent of 5. So the mistake here is that they multiplied the exponent, but really you're supposed to add it. The next one. Here, they used the product rule, but they multiplied the base. So that is the mistake. You don't multiply the base. So really, the answer is going to be 10 to the exponent of 3 plus 2. And 3 plus 2 equals 5. So the answer is going to be 10 to the exponent of 5. In the third one, here they added the exponents and they use the product rule. But here, the sign is addition, not multiplication. So here, first, we want to get the common out of these. And the common is going to be 100 or 10 to the exponent of 2 times 10 plus 1. Here, many people usually put 0. But we want to put a 1 because 10 to the exponent of 2 times 1 is going to be 10 to the exponent of 2. Okay, so now we want to do the inside of the parentheses and that is going to be 11. And then 10 to the exponent of 2 times 11 is going to be 1100. And that is our answer. Okay, here. It's just telling you that 2 is not going to apply to B and the A. Instead, this is a formula. The 2 only applies to the A and the B whenever the A and the B are multiplying or dividing. Here it's addition and subtraction. So this is going to be a formula. If it's addition between A and the B, it's going to be A squared plus B squared plus 2AB. If there is a negative or a minus sign between the A and the B, it's going to be A squared plus B squared minus 2AB. So that is like the only difference. Time to practice. Here, since the bases are the same, we can use the product rule. So we can say 2 over 3 whole to the exponent of 3 plus 2. And we know that 3 plus 2 equals 5. So the answer is going to be 2 over 3 to the exponent of 5. But this 5 is going to apply to the numerator and the denominator. So really, it's going to equal 2 to the exponent of 5 over 3 to the exponent of 5. And that is our answer. Okay, here. Here we are multiplying. So we can use a product rule. So it's going to be 2 over 3 whole to the exponent of negative 3 plus times negative 2. And that's going to equal 2 over 3 whole to the exponent of negative 3, negative 2. So here it's going to be 2 over 3 whole, negative 5. Okay. Since it's 2 over 3, negative 5, 
and there is a negative sign in the exponent, you, we want to change it to a positive. So we are going to use the negative exponent formula. So here, in the first video of Exponents and Powers Part 1, we learned a shortcut to get rid of the negative sign in the exponent. We can just do the reciprocal of the base, in this case, 2 over 3. The reciprocal of 2 over 3 is going to be 3 over 2 over whole to exponent of 5. And now, this 5 is going to apply to the numerator and the denominator. So here it's going to equal 3 to exponent of 5 over 2 to the exponent of 5. And that is our answer. Okay, here, the 4 will apply to the sign in the number. So it's going to be 3 to the exponent of 4. Here, we can only get, um, the 4 is only applying to the negative sign in the 3 because there are parentheses around it. If it was just negative 3 to the exponent of 4, the 4 would only apply to the number, not the sign. Just remember that. Okay. So 3 to the exponent of 4 times. So this 2 is going to be applied to the 5 and the 2. So we can write 5 to the exponent of 2 over 3 to the exponent of 2. Okay. Here we want to switch these two. So we can write 3 to the exponent of 4 over 3 to the exponent of 2. We can only switch these because the denominator is a 1 here. So we can, and I want to use this part to use a formula. So this is going to equal 3 to the exponent of 4 minus 2 times 5 to the exponent of 2. And that's going to equal 3 to the exponent of 2 times 5 to the exponent of 2. Okay, here, we can use the power of a product formula. Here, because the exponents are the same, we can say 3 times 5 whole to the exponent of 2. And then if we do the inside of the parentheses first, it's going to be 15 to the exponent of 2. And that is our answer. Okay, here. First, we want to change 9 to 3 to the exponent of 2 whole to the exponent of 3 over 4. So this is just going to mean 3 to the exponent of 2 times 3 over 4. So then if we cut and multiply these, it's going to equal 3 to the exponent of 3 over 2. Okay, now we can use the fractional exponent formula. So first, we can separate the fraction to 3 to the exponent of 3 times 1 over 2. So now, we, this is going to equal the square root of 3 to the exponent of 3. Okay, now that we got 3 to the exponent of 3, we can separate them. So 3 to the exponent of 3 times 3, or 3 to the exponent of 3 times the root exponent 3. Okay, now 3 to the exponent of 2 is going to be 9, and the square root of 9 is just going to be 3. So 3 root 3. That is our answer. Okay, here. We want to get, we want to change x to the exponent of 12 to x to the exponent of 6 whole to the exponent of 2. We changed 12 to this part because first, 12 can be written as 4 times 3 or 
6 times 2. Here, we want to get an exponent with 6. So we would rather take this one and not this. So, now we are going to do y to exponent of negative 5. We can change y to exponent of negative 5 as 1 over y to exponent of 5. And now this is going to equal 20. A whole to exponent of 2 times 1 over 10 because y to exponent of 5 equals 10. Okay, now 20 times 20 is going to be 400 times 1 over 10. Okay, now if we multiply these two, our answer is going to be 40. And that is our answer. Now let's come to the next question. So we can write x plus y whole square as x square plus y square plus 2axy. And that equals x to exponent of 2 plus y to exponent of 2. Here, we use the new formula that we just learned. a plus b whole square. Okay, here. If we take y to exponent of 2 to the other side, it's going to become y to exponent of 2 minus y to exponent of 2. And that's going to become 0. So we can just cross these two out. Okay, and then here, x to the exponent of two. Same thing, if, these, if this x to the exponent of two goes to the other side, it's gonna become zero. So we can cross that out as well. So we are gonna be left with two xy equals zero. And then xy is going to equal 0 over 2 or 0. But here we want to know 3 to the exponent of xy. So let's substitute. If xy equals 0, it's going to be 3 to the exponent of 0. And remember, anything with the exponent of 0 is going to be 1. So 1 is our answer. Okay, here, we want to change 16 to a power that has 2 as a base. So we can say 2 to the exponent of 4 times a whole to the exponent of x equals 2a to the exponent of x. Okay. This x is going to apply to the 2 to the exponent of 4 and a. So we can say 2 to the exponent of 4x times a to the exponent of x. And that equals 2 times ax. Okay, here. If we get this a to the exponent of x to the other side, it's going to become 2 to the, 2a to the exponent of x over ax, a to the exponent of x. So here we can cut this and this out, so we will be remained with a two. So this is gonna equal two to the exponent of four x equals two to the exponent of one. Okay, here, the bases are the same, so the exponents have to be the same. So we can say four x equals one. And now we want to figure out x. So we can say x equals 1 over 4. And that is our answer. Okay. Here we want to get a, the value of a. Okay, first we can multiply 5 and 6. So 5 times 6 is 30. So x to the exponent of 30 times x to the exponent of 2 over 3. And that equals x to the exponent of a. Okay. Here, we gotta use a product rule. So now this is going to equal x 
to the exponent of 30 plus 2 over 3. And that equals x to the exponent of x. So now we want to get the LCM and then add these two. So that's going to be, so the answer is going to be 92 over 3 when we add them. And that equals x to the exponent of a. Okay, because the bases are the same, the exponents have to be the same. So the answer is going to be 92 over 3 equals a. Or a equals 92 over 3. It's the same thing. Okay, here, we want to figure out 4x over 2y. Okay, we can cut 2 and 4. So if we divide them, it's going to be 2x over y. Okay, here, it says 2x equals 2 plus y. So we can write 2 plus y over y. And now, this y is shared with the 2 and the y, so we can also write 2 over y plus y over y. And we know that y over y is going to equal 1. So 2 over y plus 1. And that is our answer. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.